Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Isco Tuto, and what can I do here? I solve technical drive problems and also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have a better performance in your technical drive examinations. If you are watching my video for the first time, I want to appreciate you and I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and very important as I usually say technical drawing is a practical subject and it is compulsory you practice this subject so when you practice it you master it and then you'll be able to solve any problem that has to do with technical drawing that you may come across okay um what I want to do right now is to provide answers to um uh what uh, uh uh, technical drawing uh, objective questions of this year that is 2022 objective questions and we are going to answer all the questions so we are going to ans answer the first 30 questions on geometrical drawing and also we answer the um, uh, part uh, B uh, part B uh, or section B part 1 uh, 31 to 40 on BD drawing and 31 to 40 on mechanical drawing so let's start all right so we start with question one so uh, and here we have that 100 millimeter square is the same as 100 millimeter square is same as 10 centimeter square that is option b is the answer to that question and question two a certain line is parallel to the horizontal plane but inclined to the vertical plane which of the following views shows the true length of the line so the answer is option b the plan which shows the true we showed the true length of the line since the line is parallel to the horizontal plane so the plan will be on the horizontal plane that is option b and question three the length l in figure one is our full length the length l in figure one is our full length and then the question now says that what type of pictorial view is shown in the sketch what type of pictorial view is shown in the sketch so the answer is option b it's a cabinet oblique view so i know that some people may be wondering that this angle is 30 that's supposed to be 45 if we are to choose cabinet oblique joint or oblique joint at all uh, oblique drawing can also be drawn at an angle of 30 degree uh, but we are used to that of 45 degree so and then uh, for the answer that we picked here as cabinet oblique drawing um, we are asked that the length is our full length so that's why so we take cabinet oblique view as the answer so that is option a question four the locus of a point which moves round a right cylinder axially at a uniform speed is a helix is a helix so that is option c and question five a length of one meter on land is represented by two millimeters on a drawing what is the drawing scale used so the drawing scale used here is one ratio 500 that is option D. So we have two millimeters divided by one meter, and that will be two millimeters over one thousand millimeters. And by the time we take out um, uh, two out of one thousand, and that will give us one ratio five hundred. That is the answer to question five, option D. So we move to question six. So here we have that the sectional view on plane PP of the block shown in Figure two is the answer is option a here is the correct answer and question seven which of the following conic sections has an eccentricity of less than one the answer is option c helips option, uh, option c is the correct answer to that and question eight says that a trace is the intersection of two planes a trace is the intersection of two planes that is option b question 9 and 10 we have to use this diagram to answer question 9 and 10 and question 9 says that the ratio by which 
the ratio by which line pt is divided is the answer is option d one ratio two ratio one so why that shows that so from here to here one two so that is true and then we have one two three four so that is four and here we have one two so that means we have two ratio four ratio two and two can divide all and that is why we have the answer to be option d one ratio two ratio one and question 10 if the actual length of the first of the three portions of line pt is four centimeters what is the length of pt so if distance from year to year is four centimeters so from year to year will be eight centimeters and from year to year will be four centimeters so if you add that together that will give us 16 centimeters as we have here option c is 16 centimeters and then question 11 a quadrilateral with four equal sides whose diagonals bisect each other at right angles is a rhombus that is option a and question 12 a regular solid that is bounded by four equilateral triangles is a tetrahedron and question 13 that is option a for that uh, for question 12 option a question 13 the sketch in figure 4 shows a method of dividing a triangle into two equal parts that is option d as the answer to question 13. so question 14 which of the following views represent the locus of a point equidistant from the circumference of two unequal circles shown in figure 5 so the answer to this question is option a and someone once asked me uh, the answer to this question i said that the answer is option b please that answer is not correct so the correct answer is option a because the curve has to face the larger circle so this is larger circle so the curve will go in this direction so supposing the larger circle is here so we can choose option b so now the option is uh, the right answer is option a okay then we move to question 15 triangles on the same base and between the same parallel lines have equal area have equal area triangles on the same base and between the same parallel lines they have equal area then question 16 so that is option c for that as the answer to our question, uh, question 15. now question 16 which of the following plane figures is not a parallelogram so the answer is option c option c is a trapezium others are parallelograms and question 17 when the curved surface of a hollow cone is cut open it forms a so it forms a sector of a circle that is option c is the answer to question 17 then question 18 the sketch in figure 6 shows the surface development of a truncated cone so and option a is the answer to that and question 19 so sorry question 19 is uh we have figure 17 shows an external tangent of an arc radius 100 to two unequal circles then we are asked to that the value of r1 and r2 respectively are so we have 20 and 70 that is option a so for us to get the point uh the center of arc which we are to use to construct this uh this um arc here that will touch these two circles so we have to subtract we have to subtract 80 from 100 we subtract 30 okay sorry half of 30 so half of 30 that is 40 so we subtract 40 from 100 and we also subtract uh okay so we subtract 30 so from 100 so uh 40 from 100 that will give us 60 oh sorry so that will give us 60 and 15 from 100 that will give us 85 so the answer is option b sorry the answer is option b they put this one there so so that if you don't wash very well you may make a mistake so please the correct answer is option b 60 and 85 so we subtract 40 which is the radius of this circle 
from 100 we subtract 15 which is the radius of this circle from 100 and this one will give us 60 and this will give us what we give us 85 so the correct answer is option b please take note and question 20 the axial distance for one revolution of a two start screw thread is the pitch is the pitch so sorry oh god that is the lead not the pitch is the lead okay so we still come across something like that i we i we uh so we explain uh so i will talk about that again so question uh 21 and 22 we have to use this question to answer question 21 and 22 here we have that what is the value of m on this scale so the value of m on this scale is 2.67 meters 2.67 meters and if you have watched my video on the construction of our scales diagonal scale you'll have you'll be able to answer this question and question 22 the actual length of the object whose length is measured on is measured in m on the scale is 267 meters so don't forget that we have begun the scale of 1 is 100 here so work that out and the answer is 207 meters so that is option c as the answer to question 22 then we move to um question 23 and 24 we have to use this uh diagram to answer the question so here we have that the value of angle n p q is value of angle n p q is so um if you look at this this is the right angle for angle so this angle is 90 degree and that means this angle will be 45 and this angle will be 45 so if we subtract 45 from 180 it will give us 135 to give us 135 so the answer is 135 that is for angle angle n So that's for angle mpq then we move to question 24 question 24 so here we have that the value of angle n m p so is so the angle the value of angle n m p is 45 degrees so this angle here is 45 degree then we move to question 25 and 26 so this is what i said talk about the delete here so and okay now so here we have that uh the curve t is a helix curve t is a helix that is option a as the answer to question 25 and question 26 the length the length marked g is the circumference length marked g is the circumference of this circle so um then move to question 27 so in figure 11 the polygon t v w x y is equal in area to triangle u x s that is option a is the answer to this uh, question and question 28 radial line method radial line method is a technique used to develop a cone so we use radial line method to develop cone and pyramids while the parallel method is used to, to uh, develop prisms and cylinders so question 29 line pq and qr in figure 12 are two sides of a regular pentagon so the exterior angle is 72 and if you divide 360 by 72 that will give you 5 so once we know the exterior angle we can get the number of sides as i said divide 360 by 72 or by the value of the exterior angle whatever the value you get will be the number of side of the polygon that we are talking about so in this case now so the value of the exterior angle is 5 sorry the value of the exterior angle is 72 so 360 by 72 will give us 5 and a five-sided poly, uh, polygon is known as pentagon okay so the answer to that is option a so question 30 which is the last question for the general question or geometrical 
uh, drawing. So here we have the type of line shown in figure 13 is used to indicate long break. Used to indicate long break. Okay. So now we move to section B, part one, which is building drawing. So question that one says that the tool shown in figure 14 is called a tri square. So that is option A. So question. Uh, 32 and 33 we are going to use this diagram to answer that and question 32 says that the part label m is wall plate so that is option a and question 33 says that the length length labeled x x is called rafter backing it's called rafter backing and question 34 the type of stair shown in Figure 16 is a quarter turn. It's a quarter turn. Then question 35. Which of the following symbols represent transparent material? Option A. And question 36. The type of drawing shown in figure 17 is a sketch plan. A sketch plan. That is option A. Then we move to question 37 and 39. We have to use this diagram to answer question 37 to 39. So which says that question 37 says that which of the following parts will not be shown in the section along PP? So the answer to that is option B G will not be shown. That is this door will not be shown. By the time this part is cut off, so we will not see this door. It will be it will be, it will be within this wall, so we cannot see it. But we are going to see this window in section. And this window will be drawn in the form of elevation. Okay, so the answer to that question is option B. Question 38. The convention used for representing the wall, the wall T on the section PP is option C is the convention that we have to use to show this wall T in the section. Then question 39. The specification 900 by 2100 by 40 is associated with which of the following building parts? So that is option C, that is G, which is the door. So the door, the, for the door, the width is 900, the height is 2100, and the thickness is 40. So that gives us option C to be the correct answer as the for the for question 39. Then question 40 says that the type of door shown in figure 19 is the type of door shown in figure 19 is so this is the door and then we have this door to be called legged and batting door legged and batting door that is option D is the answer to that question so we are done with question 31 to 40 but, uh, uh, building uh, drawing that is uh, part one of section B. So now we move to part two of section B. So which is on mechanical drawing. So question thirty one says that the type of sectioning in figure twenty is we call it half sectioning. So when the cutting plane goes in this direction, as we have here, so we call this type of section we call it half sectioning. So question thirty two, the construction of gears. Is an application of involute construction of gears and application of involute option a is the answer to that question 33 school thread is designed based on the principle of helix based on the principle of helix option D is the answer to that question 34 the type of wedge shown in figure 21 is called fillet wedge fillet wedge that is option a to as answer to question 34. Then we move to question 35, which says that the type of key used in the component shown in figure 22 is a Woodrow, Woodruff key. Woodruff key, that is option C. And question 36, the type of pin shown in figure 23 is a taper pin, that is option A. And question 37, the thread profile shown in figure 27 or 24 is an acme thread it's an acme thread that is option b as the answer to question 37 then we move to question 38 which says that the type of screw shown in figure 25 is a countersunk 
add screw countersunk add screw and question 39 says that which of the following shows the conventional method of dimensioning a chamfered surface so the answer to this question is option c is the answer to this question okay question 40 says that the sectional view in figure 26 shows a blind hole it shows a blind hole so we come to the end of the answers to objective question of technical drawing in 2002 so please keep on practicing very very important and when you practice you show